Good morning, my friends. Um, today is Monday, May 1st, and today is the day that I pick up my RV. So quickly, I wanted to tell y'all about what the day is going to look like um, because we ran out of time on Saturday to do everything and everything was closed on Sundays, of course. So today, uh, while my mom is working, me and my dad are going through and hitting um, all of the stops that we need to do to bring this thing home today. So in my last video, um, you know, I picked it out. It's mine, but um, we were not able to bring it home today because there was still a lot of back and forth about the financing, how much money I put down, all of that. We didn't feel like that dealership was giving us um, the best rates. And so we're going to go to a different bank today and see if we can get a better interest rate on the little bit that I need to finance. Um, so my, luckily my parents are helping me with that. They're co-signing for me, um, because I really don't have any credit. I've never built it. Um, they didn't raise me to build it. I've just never used it. So, um, unfortunately their credit plus my credit, even though theirs is up here and mine's normal, it brings theirs down, which makes the interest rate higher, um, and, and changes the terms of how long I have to pay off the rest of this RV. So we're going to go check another bank to see if they can give us a better deal. And if not, then we'll just take the best deal that the dealership can give us. The second thing that we need to do is, um, so you have to have a tow package on the truck and a special brake system um, that allows you to haul heavy things. And the truck that I have already came with it because we used to use it for gym shows and we would um, haul stuff back in U-Haul. So it had to have that four wheel drive, that tow package, the brake system, all of that. However, the seven pin, um, like it's actually underneath where the ball hitch is um, that everything hooks into. So that controls the brakes for whatever you're pulling. If it has it, um, the lights on the back, all of that, um, that terminal is corroded. So we tried to find somewhere that could just completely replace it so that um, I would have that done. But there's not anywhere that can do it on the time frame that we need. So we're going to go get some um, special stuff to spray in it and it'll eat away at the corrosion and hopefully work enough to at least get it home. And that buys us a little bit more time to actually fix that terminal. And so once uh, we do that on the way to the place, um, whether we have a better interest rate or not, um, we will be picking up the RV. I do have, he said it's like a two hour class that I have to go through that teaches me how to actually use everything on it, how everything works, where all of the buttons and gadgets and things are. Um, so I will be going through a very lengthy process so that I know the ins and outs of my RV and how to use everything. So with all of that being said, let's get on it. All right, so pardon the background noise. I'm sitting next to the interstate at a Cracker Barrel. Uh, Dad and I are having lunch after going to two different banks. Uh, to try to get better financing options for uh, the last part of the RV that I need. Um, the first bank, I don't really know what happened, but they kind of gave us the runaround with even talking to somebody. I don't know if they didn't like the way that I, I looked or what it was, but um, we both got a bad vibe there. Um, so we ended up going to a credit union instead. We went through the whole process there. Um, and that option actually gave us almost half the interest rate that the dealership was trying to give us. Um, so we are just waiting to hear back from the person who is actually underwriting the loan. Um, and then we will be heading to the dealership. It might take a while to actually hear back from the loan person. Um, the monthly payments that they have given me for the entire loan, um, for like the entirety of what the RV, co RV costs um, is a very high monthly payment, but I'm gonna be putting a lot of it down. So we also have to talk to them uh, when they call us back about what it will be if I put um, a big chunk of it down um, and then how much that will affect my monthly payment. But we still have that really low rate. It's the lowest rate that we found. So feeling very blessed with that um, and hoping that we hear back from them soon. In the meantime, me and my dad are having lunch, and then um, after this, if we still haven't heard from them, uh, then we're gonna go to the DMV and get my driver's license changed uh, because my parents' house here in Alabama is gonna be my home base for everything. All of my addresses will be changed here so that while I'm out traveling, any important paperwork goes to my parents' house and it doesn't get lost um, at any other location. Um, and I don't have to like worry about updating my PO box and stuff like that. So just a little update. I know that a lot of this part uh, of the process is boring, but I wanted to document it anyway. Um, 
not only just for my journey in general, but for anybody else who is also trying to go through this process um, as a young single woman who wants to get out on her own. Um, so I hope that it's informational and it's not like too, too boring, uh, but it kind of gives you a genuine look at what the process is of buying an RV to live in. I literally cannot even explain to y'all the roller coaster of a day that I've had today. So the last little chunk of an update I did was about noon and it is now seven o'clock. Um, we went all over the place today. There are so many hoops that I'm having to jump through, so many pieces of paper I'm having to get and approvals and like the whole nine yards. So the first thing was um, that the bank that approved us for a lower rate than the dealership gave us was like, we need pay stubs. I don't have any pay stubs. I just started this job. So I called my boss. She's at the hospital in Atlanta with her daughter. And she's like, I can't help you. And then we had to go actually to my dad's work to get his pay stubs. Well, we're trying to, you know, hear back from her about some alternatives to pay stubs that I could give her. And we were like, well, let's go to the DMV. So we go to the DMV thinking, okay, like I have this thing that has my parents' address on it because that's going to be my home base. I'm just going to get an Alabama license again and all that stuff. No, you can't just go to the DMV like that. You have to go to a special DMV if you're getting a different state license and then you have to have like all of these different things and I don't have that so now we're having to work around how to actually get an Alabama license with my parents address on it as my home base and I need that so that I can change my health insurance um, I can change like my bank like all of all of the things that are official that send me things I need to change to my parents house so that it goes there well, on top of that, I also need to get a new tag for the truck and I'm going to have to get a tag for the RV that's both in Alabama, but I have to have an Alabama driver's license. And then on top of that, to even get insurance on the RV, I have to be in Alabama for those purposes. And it doesn't make sense for me to just, even though I just paid over a thousand dollars to get the registration and tag on this truck in Georgia. It doesn't make sense because come September when I need a new tag and everything, it's going to be sent to my ex's parents' house and I'm going to be somewhere out west. So I just have to go ahead and bite the bullet and get it re-registered to Alabama so that my tag will come in to my parents' house and they can mail it to me wherever I am. So after all of that stuff that we're trying to figure out, we go to the DMV and we tell them, hey, we got a better rate than what you told us. And she was like, oh no, like it was a different girl than the woman who was helping us on, uh, on Saturday. But she was like, oh no, like we can do a way better rate than that. So on Saturday, they said the lowest rate we could possibly get with mine and my dad's credit is 11.9% interest rate. We go to a credit union today and they said we can do a 7.5 or 7.6 or something like that. So we're like, cool, we'll go with that. Well, we bring all of that information to the dealership and the girl's like, oh no, we can do 6.5. So that's almost half of what they said the lowest thing was on Saturday. And let me tell you, it made my mom so mad. She's like, do, do they think that we're stupid? Like I get they're trying to make their money like hustle, but also do they think we're stupid? So that whole thing is still not resolved. Uh, today is Monday. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we're going back um, and figuring all of that out and putting the money down and like doing all that stuff. But they did hook my camper up and they did a full class, a full walkthrough on how to use everything. And it truly was like setting in that I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So we were hoping to bring it home today, but the, um, I mentioned earlier, the seven pin like adapter that I plug everything into so that the brakes work, the lights work, like all that stuff for the camper. Um, that thing is corroded to shit on my truck and we tried to find somebody to fix it and we couldn't find anybody to fix it or it'd take days to get the part in or it'd be $400 to fix it and all this stuff. So we hooked it up today anyway to just to see if it would work and it didn't. So tomorrow after my dad gets off of work about 10 a.m. we're going to go back to the dealership and I'm just going to give them the money to fix it and be done with it and we're going to bring it home tomorrow. 
So I know like this wasn't like a super fun video, but like this is just the reality of what I'm having to go through to buy this RV that's going to be my home to to go through banks and to get all of my stuff changed and all of this stuff. And let me tell you, me and my family, we're over it. We're stressed. It's a lot, but it is going to be so incredibly worth it when me and my dad hit the road to whatever job I'm going to get and I get there and I'm laying there for the first night in my beautiful RV with my cat and my snake in the beautiful mountains, I pray, and I finally did it. And it's the start of a completely new journey and a completely new life for me. So I was hoping that this part two was going to be super exciting and be like, oh, we got it. Let me give you an RV tour and like, look at all the cool things. And that's just not what it turned into. We have slayed dragon after dragon after dragon today. I'm tired. My parents are tired. We, we are, we got some food from a restaurant and we're going home and relaxing because it's been that kind of day. But tomorrow is going to be the day. So thanks for sticking around and listening to this process and being here with me and uh, stay tuned for an RV tour tomorrow.